in Fargo, where the weather cam shows clouds in the area. It's a bit of a gray evening ahead of us, but otherwise an uneventful one as we are dry. Now, over the next few hours, we will go from 39 degrees at 6 p.m. to the mid 30s by 8 p.m. And wind chills will be in the low to mid 30s too because of light winds pushing through the area during trick or treating time. So you'll want to wear a couple of layers uh, if you're going out getting some candy. On the bright side, again, we're looking at a mix of clouds, so it's going to be a quiet day ahead of us. Um, and then thereafter, I want to first alert you to two rounds of rain that we're expecting. First, a few showers as we start November tomorrow. Then we're tracking some more rain towards the latter half of the weekend. First, what's going on? Currently seeing some upper 30s, low 40s across the region. Upper 30s in Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls versus 44 in Grand Forks, 43 in Jamestown. And taking a look at our satellite and radar, we do have a few flurries in southeastern Otter Tail County. Otherwise, the rest of our region is dry, just cloudy, and that's it. The flurries are from this low pressure system, which has been dumping snow out in eastern Minnesota throughout the morning and afternoon hours. That low is pushing east, but another low is forming in the Rockies, and that low will lift into our region tomorrow, bring some moisture in the form of rain showers. So let's go over that. Our first little forecast shows that any leftover flurries will push out by around you know, 6 to 7 o'clock. So basically within the next hour or two, we should be taking a break from any flurry activity in Southern Lakes Country. Otherwise, the rest of our region still looking cloudy and dry. Overnight into Friday morning, we're still looking overcast. Gray start to the day with morning lows in the 20s, so it's going to be a chilly start to the day tomorrow. By around midday, we'll start seeing some rain showers lifting into central North Dakota, making their way into the James River Valley. And by around 4 o'clock, that's when we'll see that rain crossing into Fargo with some wintry mix trying to form in the southern half of the James River Valley. However, this wintry mix, I don't expect any accumulation because the ground will still be above freezing, so none of the accumulation should reach the ground. Then we'll see that... Uh, Rain and even some wintry mix potential continuing in Lakes Country around at 7 to 8 o'clock. And it's not until after midnight that any leftover showers push out of our region. Regarding exact precipitation totals, probably looking at about a quarter inch to half an inch of rain. So some decent amount of moisture from that system. And then looking at our next weather maker, Saturday night starting with scattered rain showers. Becoming a widespread steady rain on Sunday afternoon. And it's not until Monday afternoon that any leftover rain moves out of our region. So basically, looking at a soggy end of the weekend, then upper 40s to low 50s as we transition into early November. I want to say this is a big change for us now, but we're heading into November, so we should yeah. probably expect it by now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's more seasonable for this time of year.